All right, how are you guys doing today? We're going to take a look at application problems for conics, but this time we're looking at parabolas. Now, remember, for parabolas, there's going to be two general shapes for the parabola. The parabola shape could be something that's like this, or it could be something that's shaped like this. Either way, both of those shapes are going to be parabolas, and that's what we're going to take a look at here in this video. First example, we've got cables of a suspension bridge. They're in the shape of a parabola. The towers that support these cables are 400 feet apart and 100 feet high. If the cables are at a height of 10 feet midway between the towers, what is the height of the cables at a point 50 feet from the center of the bridge? hoo Lots of information there. So first thing we're going to do is put it together in a picture. Now the first thing that I want to key on is the very first sentence that has numbers in it. The tower supporting the cables are 400 feet apart and 100 feet high. Now the 400 feet apart is not a bad idea, but don't forget, if we split that in half, because it's going to be centered at the origin, if we split that in half, then that's going to have a length of 200. So what that tells me, it's the height of this point right here on the top of my tower that's going to have a coordinate of 200 feet from the center and it's a hundred feet high so that's going to be something we're going to use here in a little bit now my next sentence gives me a little bit of another number the cables are at a height 10 feet midway between the towers so 10 feet is what the height is midway between the towers. so that's why i'm centered at the origin so we're talking about this piece right here uh, so that whole height, I'm told, all right, that's 10 feet. So I'm going to write a 10 there. Now, coordinate-wise, since that's our middle, that would have the coordinate 0, 10, because that's 10 feet high off the center of our situation, which is at the origin. So 0, 10 is that spot. Now, what we want to know is what's the height of the cables at a point 50 feet from the center of the bridge? So... If the center's right in the middle, more or less, and we go 50 feet to the right, we want to know how far up is that. So this spot right here is 50 feet from the center, but the height, I've got no idea what that is. So now I'm looking at that coordinate. And that is what I'm going to try to find. Doing that is going to take several steps, but at least if we have our picture put together the right way, that's going to get us started in the right direction. All right, so what we're going to do now that we've got our drawing all set up, that's the first part. The second part, what we're going to do is take our coordinates that we have, and we're going to use that to help us find something. The something that we're going to help us, we're going to have it help us find, is going to be coming up very shortly. Now check this out. First thing we're going to do is write down those coordinates. The vertex we know is at 0, 10, and then the 200, 100 from the height of the tower as well as how far it is from the center. Now remember the general form for a parabola, one that's going up and down, we're going to have x minus h quantity squared equals 4a times y minus k. Now h and k, remember, they're going to come just pretty straightforward. They're going to come from your vertex. So all we're going to do is make that substitution and then the x and y, we're going to substitute that from the point we have. Boom! Check that out. Well, that wasn't so bad. We're just plugging some numbers in. Now, if we take a look at all of that, what's the only letter we don't have? That's right, the letter A. So we're going to have to solve this for A. So when you do that, what I want you to do is leave your answer in exact form. Don't simplify it, but leave your answer in exact form. So when we're done with our algebra, we should end up with 40,000 over 360 for the value of A. Now we're going to repeat that process. We're going to go through that same kind of component again, but this time we're going to solve for the value of Y when X is 50, because that's this part that we're trying to determine is what's the height of the cable when we're 50 feet from the center of the bridge. So we'll go through that same kind of algebra. So you can plug in everything and take your time and solve for the value of 
of y. So go ahead and hit pause, go through that process, and let's see what you come up with. All right, so how'd you do with that? Hopefully, you've shown every single step, you've taken your time, and you've gotten to the correct answer, 15.625. Now, on the first, second, third line down, what I want you to do is take a look at this piece right here because we do a little bit of reducing, not much, but the 4 and the 360, they reduce to give you the 90. Now as we go on to our next step, instead of distributing this by y and over to the minus 10, we simply multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 40,000 over 90, which you can see on the left hand side is 90 over 40,000. So 50 squared, I didn't mess with that yet because I just want to keep keep that nice and then just go to the calculator at the very, 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 very end. And when you do that, you end up with 15.625. Now, if you got that, that's pretty good. If not, go back and just take your time, do your arithmetic, check to make sure that you didn't make any careless mistakes with your arithmetic. But you're not done. Because the last thing that you have to do is actually answer the question. Now what we wanted to do is write down a complete sentence. So again, you would say something like this. The cables are about 15.62 feet high when the cable is 50 feet from the center of the bridge. That's it for this problem. Thanks for watching. And we've got one more example to do, but we'll do that in the next video.